Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Andy Dahl from Everything Wheels. I want to give you an update. It's kind of mid-build. I don't know if it's mid-build or not, but everything's already started on the car. And this is a Datsun 510 1972 two-door. And tons of rust, so I'm going to try to put uh, pictures in this video so that you can see kind of the shape it was. And then... Um, from when I get done with this, as I get things done, we'll probably just add one video at the end when we get uh, done building this. So this is going to be a vintage race car for my son. Uh, we're, we're installing a uh, two-liter engine uh, stock initially so he can get used to driving this car, and then we'll build the, build the engine up. I uh, have uh, cage kits, uh, have their rally cage coming, so we'll, we'll be installing that, and I'm looking forward to, to doing that. Now, I've never welded uh, MIG welded before this project so uh, it's kind of a test bed I've never done sheet metal work or anything like that so I'm um, learning as I go getting better at it uh, made some mistakes and uh, try not to repeat them but uh, sheet metal is a whole car thin sheet metal is a whole different style of, of welding um, you can see on my YouTube channel we've done uh, some of the suspension upgrades. Uh, we have all the mechanical stuff for the car. Um, we're going to be putting in a pedal assembly. Uh, it comes off the roll cage and um, rewire wire the car up and, and do all that ourselves or plumb it with uh, electrical and, and we have a fuel cell for the back. So a lot of stuff to do on the build. But so today I'm just going to catch you up on what I've done so far. And uh, basically it's been cutting metal out and replacing metal so let's take a look at it here the first thing that i had to do was um i started on this side and put the new floorboard in um i didn't butt weld the floor pan i i lapped it and then welded onto it because i'm just trying to learn and and it it, it took a good amount of time to to get this to where i needed it the uh, rocker panels come in two parts, so I did plug welds and um, and welded those together. Uh, this isn't beautiful. I haven't finished that up yet. Uh, a lot of a lot of little things I'm learning on it. But uh, so I made the the rockers. Uh, we had to cut out uh, this this car, which is, has box flares on it, um, which doesn't meet the specification for the BS. I think they'll put it in a different group, but. It's just a cool look for a for a 510. Most of them just have the flat. This was um, probably, I, I'm not quite sure the class that it was in. Um, it was B sedan, but when they upgraded it back in the 70s, you could do that. Now this was a street car, it had twin turbos on it. And um, we'll look at the engine bay here in a little bit. It'll show you the mods I had to do to that just because of what they did. Um, fiberglass work, uh, it just, they just kind of cut and chopped different things. Like we got a lot of work to do back in these corners. Um, they just put foam in and uh, their cuts weren't clean. You can see the, the cuts in the, uh, in the metal back here. There's a good amount of rust. Um, I still have to fix that. Uh, you can buy these rear, rear parts of the car um, in two pieces. So I'll probably build, buy one of them and just replace the, uh, cut it up and just use, uh, cut out the bad parts for both sides. So um, still a lot of work to do on that. But I'm started back up and I started in the middle here. And um, you can see this metal is so thin it just blows holes through it like these holes right here. It's a nice little hole, but I'm get, I'll, I'll get it figured out. But um the under under pan that goes underneath here is in and I s plug welded those and I got if I have when I have better metal my welds are a little bit better than than uh, on the thinner stuff but again I've got this to fabricate which I'm actually enjoying the fabrication um, and then this this side over here and see the welds are a little bit better on that side they're just tacked in and um, I need to make sure that I get uh, some strong 
angle iron metal on the back of that so I'm gonna take 16 gauge and and I got a small bender I'm gonna bend it up because the roll bar box sits in that corner and I need to make sure that part of this the car is strong for that the other box sits sits up about in about in there and then eventually we'll have to cut through the firewall to get the ones that go up to the strut towers in the front um, so a lot of tear down and we got the floor pans in and the rockers in we we put these angle iron pieces in there to to steady it up i took one floor pan out of it at a time one to make sure that i could use the other one to look and measure to get the other one incorrect now are they exactly the same well i'm not going to tell you where i screwed it up but um there's a little bit of things but it, it's a race car it's not I don't it's not precision it needs to be very strong I mean it's only like a quarter of an inch off but um, anyway so some of the fiberglass work will need to be done I got some cracks in the fiberglass and uh, we took the windows out these side windows weigh 11.5 pounds a piece so we're gonna uh, use polycarbonate in there and probably put some vents maybe some NASA vents or something um, for those um, the back of the car um, has a neat, they, they modified it back here, and the exhaust came out the middle. My son likes that, so we're probably going to go ahead and keep that part of it. The trunk, we had fun using the plasma cutter. i got a small plasma cutter here. Uh, it's for sheet metal. Um, it's kind of hard to keep steady, but as you can see, this is what we're dealing with. Um, that's the type of metal and the type of work that was done on this. And uh, like, I, I, I gotta cut that stuff out. I can't, I can't just let that go. And then back in here, um, you can see they just shoved foam in there. And then they just left the cuts like that. They didn't even clean the cuts up or anything. So I haven't gotten to the back here, but uh, I'll update you on that. But again, this side is, um, is not as bad as the other side. So that one, other than back up in here, um, I just don't understand why they didn't do that. But that's that's neither here nor there at this point. So we'll, we're, I'll get that done. So this is where the fuel cell will go. We have a, I think you got a 10 or 12 gallon fuel cell so we can do enduro races with this, so. This side isn't, isn't um, too bad, still have the same thing. I got a little bit better on my welds. Um, we'll seam seal those and those will look good. I took the front window out. This thing was really glued in there. My son and I had a heck of a time. They glued that, you know, typically dots, you can pull them right out. Um, I have a vintage uh, 1970 race car that I have. My brother has one too. And, um, the windows we can take in mine I can take it out in five minutes but um, so there's that part of it and then then we get up to the front here um, I'm just trying to clean up what they did um, that actually is a patch and it's has a little bit of damage to it but I'm not gonna mess too much with that I've, I've done the, the outer fenders there was a hole in here for a turbo, this whole section here. I put sheet metal in there and welded it in. And it actually is contoured to the car, which I think that's not bad. I also, um, all the holes, I went ahead and plugged the holes up in there that we're not gonna use. And then on this side, there was another hole for a turbo right in here. That was my first patch ever. Um, really thin metal, but it doesn't look too bad. It's a race car. We'll uh, put some putty or something on that or just paint it the way it is. <clears throat> and then there was um, a bracket in here, metal brackets. And I had, I don't know a Datsun, I don't know the 510 very well, so I've never seen it with all the stuff in it. But all these brackets were cut off. And when I pulled the, the remaining parts of the brackets off, uh, there was a ton of rot behind this. As you can see, you know, this is really thin um, because there's actually um, a hole in here. You can see it, but um, 
uh, that's thin, but I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to seal that up. Um, I had to grind down a little bit too much probably on that. But in here behind that was, it was just rotted out. So instead of keeping that curvature, it would, it came down and then curved out. I'm just going to take that out. It's a lot easier to weld the patches like that. So I'll get that patched up. That's where the battery box was. But we're going to use a, a lithium two pound battery to start the car up. So we got rid of that part. They had a patch over here. I'm just gonna keep that patch in there. But then there was rust all down along this edge. And as you can see in here, we still need, I still need to clean that up. So what I ended up doing was on this side, which I'm still not done with. And as you can see, we have rust along the, this part and rust over there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, good amount of it. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but I guess just a small piece of metal and bend it and keep the screws. So, we'll figure that one out. Now down here, um, this was a patch that they had on there. Let me get a light real quick. So there was a patch, and I'm going to go ahead and all the way back over to here, I'm going to take that out and uh, probably that, that top patch out too, because I think, I know there's probably rust behind it, but um, there was a dead mouse in here, and, a, and uh, that was a through way for him, but you can see the rust on that. I'm gonna just clean this up. Um, I still gotta get finish up this corner up in here, and um, I'll, I'll put some metal to strengthen the bottom of it, and then we'll paint that up with KBS uh, paint, which uh, seals in that rust and um, get that done. And I also found out that patching should be done from the wheel well, so you don't see the welds, and you don't have to grind on the welds on the inside of the car, so um, I learned my lesson on that one. So we'll weld that, clean it up and weld it from this side. And again, I have to fabricate, um, I have to fabricate all of this, and then I also have to put that lower piece of metal that goes over there on the frame rail below the to hold the floor pan in. So we'll put, put that one back in over here. I haven't got that done yet. It's ready to go. Just don't have it in the car yet. So a lot of rust, um, but I think we're getting getting closer every day. It's it's getting there. And then also here you can see the I I like that. That piece was nice and smooth, and I it's going to be covered with um, undercoating, so that'll work. And then over here, the inside of this was just as bad as the other side, and I did a combination of some uh, plug welds and then also on the edge. And the welds don't look gr I mean, the penetration was really good on the welds, and I tried to make that a little bit smoother on the edges to look a little bit better. Uh, aesthetically and then this was from the holes that were from their patch the top part of their patch it's all messed up and uh, so I'll, I'll grind those smooth and then um, and repaint that so this side's all patched up and ready to go so it's looking pretty good so that's what we got going on so far with the 510 um, yeah, a lot of work, but I think um, well, there's still some more to go, but it's uh, I'm actually starting to enjoy metalworking. Um, I have uh, my brother's um, welder back over there in the corner, and I bought um, the air the air tank to run the, uh, the grinder, air grinder, but that tank's actually too small. It runs out of air, so you need a you need a bigger pump and bigger uh, tank than that. But I'm not going to deal with that. And then over here, um, underneath this is a is a plasma cutter, which helps a lot when you need that. Um, I'm keeping all the extra sheet metals and stuff in case I need something. Now that's the floorboard that we cut out. It didn't look good but this is what we cut out of it look at this so, 
Yeah, all rusted up. I keep some, keep that so I can take some of the parts off, like the transmission mount. I'll re-weld that on. But um, yeah, there's the engine. It's rebuilt. Son's got to paint that. His uncle says he has to, or it's not going to car. And I agree with him. But anyway, so that's the update on the Datsun 510. Um, subscribe to the channel if you if you haven't yet. Uh, we got a lot of things going on. As you can tell with my channel, I got I like to keep busy and do lots of different types of projects with the Kenworth T600 and. I'm a pilot. I do some flying. I'll probably put some videos up there, some older ones that I that I have. And um, yeah, have a great day, and I'll look forward to the next update on the Datsun 1972 Datsun 510.